So this is how a raster scan display works. Hey guys, welcome to another computer graphics tutorial. Today we'll be learning about raster scan display. So let's get started. First thing, let's look at the definition. What is raster scan display? So raster scan display is the most common type of display used in CRT televisions and monitor. In a raster scan system, the electron beam is swept across the screen one row at a time. And as the beam is swept across the row, the beam intensity is turned on and off to create a pattern of illuminated spots. So let's look at an example. So let's say we have got a CRT display over here and this is our cathode ray tube. All right. So what is happening is this cathode ray beam is or electron beam is swept across the screen from left to right and top to bottom. First it goes from left to right, then it is going to come back to left side again and the next position below position and it is going to be swept across. Same thing happens till it reaches the end of the screen. Okay. Once it reaches the end of the screen, it is going to return to the top position again over here. Okay. So this is how the entire screen is scanned and only the spots where you want to display something is illuminated. So let's change the color. Uh, let's say we'll use the color green over here. Let's say we want to display letter A over here. Okay. We want to display letter A. So what happens is only these spots, uh, which for illumination, let's use yellow. Color. All right. So only these spots over here, this, 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 of course, I have left a lot of gap over here, but understand that all these pixels are scanned one row at a time. And all these spots will also be eliminated. Okay. So all these spots, I'm just showing you the area where the illumination is shown. So what happens is now in this row, since entire middle line is eliminated, we are going to show you. Okay. So this is how we illuminate only the spots where we want to display the letter A by scanning one row at a time and top to bottom. Okay. So this is how raster scan display works. All right. Now let's look at the next part that is what is refresh buffer. So the picture definition that is to be drawn is stored in a memory area called refresh buffer or frame buffer. So only the points that have to be illuminated and the points that are not supposed to be illuminated. All this information is stored in this refresh buffer and the intensity values that is either zero or one is stored over here. The stored intensity values are then retrieved from the refresh buffer and painted on the screen one row at a time. All right. Now what are intensity ranges? So in simple black and white, what happens is Either it is on or off. That is intensity either zero or one. Okay. So only one bit per pixel is either stored. Okay. But in color raster system up to 24 bits per pixels are included in high quality systems. Now in a black and white raster system, only one bit per pixel is stored. That's why it's called bit map. Okay. Whereas in color system, multiple bits per pixel systems are stored. Hence the uh, frame buffer is called pix map. Okay. Now what is refresh rate? So to understand refresh rate, you need to understand these two points over here. First is horizontal retrace and second is vertical retrace. So refresh rate of the raster scan system, let's understand the number first. It is around 60 to 80 frames per second. And at the end of each scan line, the electron beam returns to the left side of the screen. We'll look at the example, how it works. Okay. And the screen, it begins displaying this next uh, scan line, which is known as horizontal retrace. And at the end of each frame, the electron beam is returned to the top left corner of the screen to display the new frame. Okay. And this process is called vertical retrace. Now let's look at an example. So yeah, let's again use the color. All right. So let's say now this scan line, we are tracing this line over here. We reach from left corner to the right corner and we come back now to the next line that is below this in the left side. Now this is known as horizontal retrace. But once you complete all these lines or all these rows over here, you come to the end of the screen over here and end of the frame, you come back to the left corner over here. And this is known as vertical retrace. That is you complete all this and then you come back to the topmost left corner and then you start again refreshing the screen or loading a new frame. So this is known as vertical retrace. And the first one that was going from left side to the right side is known as horizontal retrace. That is you complete left to right and again come back to the left side. This is known as horizontal retrace. All right. Now, the next point is what are the advantages of raster scan display? So we can display real life images which have different shades. That is one advantage. Second is the color range available is way bigger than the random scan displays. What about the disadvantages? 
the resolution is comparatively lower than random scan displays and high memory is required why because you have to store all the data that is intensity values of the pixels are stored in the refresh buffer and the all that data has to be stored so that's why you require a lot of memory all right so that's it for today guys i hope you found this video useful if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below thank you very much